all right guys uh what's up everybody it's the rice rockets here uh i am back in the village big surprise <laughs> found myself stranded without gas and i forgot this place exists uh very expensive albeit it's like 570 a gallon which is nuts um today i'm gonna get out it's kind of out of it's in the city but it's like as far north as you can go a place called fort tryon it's like a castle up at the very north end of Manhattan. Um, I've been there before for like some events. I used to work for a florist and I had to like set up an event up there. Uh, but that was like 20 years ago when I was in high school. So, uh, but I remember it being very cool. So I want to check it out. Um, anyway, that's where I'm going today. And uh, I wanted to give you all a little update on uh, where I'm at. <laughs> so uh, give me one sec. Let's get set up. Let's get set up and go. Um, this new microphone setup is like an extra step and it's like it's throwing a wrench in my routine here all right directions oh it is just straight up so it is going to be there's no way it's 40 minutes let's go ah. all right guys a quick update uh big surprise <laughs> Two days ago, uh, I had that video I posted about, uh, or a couple days ago, I can't remember, yeah, about things I hate about the dealership, working at a dealership. Uh, and as I edited that video, I realized that <laughs> the problem was me. Uh, yeah, no, it's, it just, I kept watching that, that cut and I was like, wow, you know what? Um, oh, quick pause. I love this little square right here. This is uh, meat packing. Used to be, like growing up, it was nasty over here. Like the streets were all messed up. These cobblestones, I believe, were still here, um, but they didn't look this nice. And they were definitely not luxury stores here. <laughs> uh, definitely worth the trip if you guys, um, if anybody comes to New York. Anyway, uh, yeah, I was watching the cut of why I don't like working at a dealership, things that annoy me at the dealership. And uh, I think, you know, I still think they're valid, but I just realized that that's just part of the job and I'm really doing a disservice to the dealership by staying there. Uh, and also it's just not rewarding for me, so why am I there? Um, so I just, I actually like, you know, the manager and I had a conversation and we kind of just, I think it was like a mutual, I don't know if I was fired or if I quit, it's kind of a bit of both, um, but decided that, you know, it's, this is the Whitney. Uh, decided it was time to get moving um, so I decided to take off um, let's see oh I take a left and then a right um, so I feel much freer like I just should have done that is kind of again like a bad breakup like I just needed to do that um, and you know on to bigger better things hopefully I don't really know again I'm in this like phase of like I don't know what I'm doing <laughs> Uh, riding a motorcycle is really the only thing that I like doing, which is not a job for most. Um, so, although I will say this has gotten me more in touch with my creative side. I like editing videos and I like, you know, I went to school for film post-production, so this is really just like a fun exercise for me. Um, so maybe there's something there, I don't know. But in the meantime, I will be making these movies, <laughs> these videos, um, and having a good time for the remainder of the season. Um, but yeah, to my point, you know, I think we're all in this position. Everybody who's watching, you know, I don't know how many people love, love their jobs. Some people do, and that's fantastic. Um, and I did for a long time in restaurants, but now, you know, I'm just in this weird place of like, I don't really know what I'm good at anymore, especially after having drank for the majority of my life. And now I'm sober, so like, I'm really having to think about what makes me happy what makes me tick and like what is going to be able to sustain me uh sales wasn't it because it was just this kind of in my opinion for me it was this hollow job that like you're selling product and even if you love the product like that's cool but it's just moving one thing to another like from point a to point b basically for the sake of doing it for like not all that much money um even if you had a good week like you know i think i got motorcyclist on me what's up man
How you doing? Pardon? No, 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 it's uh, uh, Triumph. What? Triumph, street triple. Uh, 765. 765. <laughs> Those guys are fun. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Where are you going? Oh, it's the 30th. Oh, whatever, yeah, yeah. Nice. Parking, take a walk somewhere. It's a nice day. Yeah. See you, man. Making a friend over here. He said the MT03, 0 to 60 in 3 seconds. Is that true? So, <laughs> uh, where was I? Yeah, uh, career stuff. So finding something that's going to fit me, like I'm really waking up again for the first time. And I talked about this in my sobriety piece, but just saying it again, it's a constant theme of my life right now. Um, and really fatiguing. <laughs> So, uh, yeah, that's what I, I've been doing. But after leaving the dealership, I fe felt like tenfold better. Like, I just, this weight, because I really didn't, like, the time that I was there, there were long days, too. It was like, you know, 10-hour days. And really, the only thing I would do would just be, like, pester people over the phone. And, like, I didn't even want to do it because I just knew in my heart, like, it's not the right thing to do in most of the scenarios, you know. So, um yeah, it just, just wasn't for me, but it's, it's no surprise <laughs> if you had watched my last video or, you know, <laughs> listened to it, uh, it's no surprise that that did not work out. Uh, so, you know, everything happens for a reason, and that's where I'm at, but uh, today I just want to shake it all off and get out there and enjoy enjoy this good weather and terrible traffic. That's my buddy. That job looks oddly therapeutic. That's what I need right now, is just to do some monotonous shit. Actually, this is what I need to do right now. <laughs> Fuck that. So on the note of the quick shifter, quick update, I've gone to like fully using this thing. Uh, I, I don't even use the clutch anymore. Uh, I've become a devout quick shifter user. Um, I will happily eat the words that I originally spoke uh, of not really needing it and it taking away from the experience. It just honestly allows you to focus on things that are more fun. Especially when I'm doing the twisties. It's such a nice thing to have. This is the, uh, the Hustler Club. Very not glamorous. I'm sure when it opened it was. this road. Not a fan.
exit's coming up soon. That's a 90 degree turn. <laughs> oh shit. Oh wow, okay. Uh, let's see, I guess it's a roundabout. Oh shit, it smells like marshmallows and fire. Interesting. <laughs> Another Triumph, Bonneville T100. Wonder if I sold that to that person. Well, this is cool. I wonder, I obviously can't drive up there. Anyway, guys, uh, thanks for tuning in. Uh, that's been today's ride. And, uh, yeah, just a quick career update. I don't, well, it's not less of an update. It's just of uh, letting you know I don't have a job anymore, but that's what it is. And uh, hopefully soon I'll be on to something bigger, better, and more interesting. And, uh, yeah, I'll check back in then. <laughs> All right, peace.